applause for Kid Mental. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Hello, I'm Renee Conrad. I'm the executive director of the New Hazlet, and it is so amazing to see you all here. Yes, thank you. There's lots of sparkles going on out there. Um, thanks for coming, and uh, we really appreciate having nice, big, live audiences back again after such a long time. Um, anybody new to the theater? Oh, wow, congratulations. We're happy to have you. Um, the New Hazlet's been here for 15 years, and we kind of provide a collaborative home for lots of Pittsburgh artists to make new work. And um, that's kind of what we do, is to nurture those artists through a process. Um, we give them this beautiful theater, which is the best space in Pittsburgh. We give them technology. We give them a really dedicated team to help them make their work. And um, of course, we have to maintain this beautiful historic building, too. Uh, we support artists by providing this space as a rental space for the small groups in Pittsburgh who don't have a space of their own. And as our own nonprofit, we raise money to help bring the cost down for them because it would be too expensive if um, they had to pay what it really costs. Um, but to, run, to do another part of our programming, I want to let you um, hear about that from our director of programming, Kristen Helfrich. Hi, everybody. Thank you. Thanks so much. So uh, we run two programs here for artists. One um, is one that we piloted this year, which is an artist in residence program. It gives um, a, an established artist about nine months of time to work on a piece that they've been working on for a while. Um, and we started that, I was so happy to do so with uh, Montez Freeland and Michael Makeda and Colopsia, which premiered this fall in October. Thank you, thank you. Um, and this program, which is the CSA. And the CSA supports five emerging or mid-career artists every year as they venture to make a brand new piece of work for the stage. And along the, the time that they're here, we mentor them in all kinds of um, producing aspects, so fundraising, marketing, um, project management, and we introduce them to um, designers uh, in the city so that they can create beautiful things like this and that they can uh, maintain those relationships and take them forward in their career. So it's a really great program. I have a feeling there are artists here tonight. If you're interested, the applications are open from October till December. You have a long time to do it. So check it out on our website. Uh, we'd love to have you apply. Um, tonight, we're super excited to have the Princess Jafar. Yes, 
She has been seen all over Pittsburgh hosting late night talk shows and we wanted to see what would happen if we supported her in her venture to make a fully produced game show for a live audience. So that's why you are here tonight. <laughs> with a chance to win, and I hear the odds are very good. <laughs> so stick around also afterwards. Part of our cultivation of art in this building is talking about it afterwards, so we hope you'll stay and talk with Princess Jafar about what they've made um, and let her ask you some questions um, about what you saw. So, yeah. Quick thanks to our season nine sponsor, Greenlight Wireless, and now enjoy The Princess is Right. That's right, the princess is right. Quick, grab a bite. We have games and prizes, cash and surprises, all the nice products and greenbacks. You're sure to be back every night for the Holidays were wonderful. How was yours? My holidays in general have been great. <laughs> I know we were supposed to be isolated, but I may have been visited by the ghost of Christmas past, and we may have revisited the moment in my life when I chose to be an all-powerful genie over true love. <laughs> it turns out that ghost was actually the labor organizer over at Princess Jafar Enterprises, and they may have had a few demands for those barrels of cobras and the lava pits in the offices, and they demanded a one pound Susan B. Anthony in their pay bucket, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Which you shouldn't, because that doesn't really make any sense. <laughs> but... <laughs> All right. Well, oh, okay. Holidays, right? Holidays, Valentine's Day, right? Recent. Even if you're watching this online later, it still was some sort of recently Valentine's Day. <laughs> and it made me realize how lonely I am. I, I think I want to learn like what you have, kid. Oh, what? <laughs> what seems to be the problem? Well, I don't know if it's just me, but I can't get these apps to work. I keep sending these guys my pics, and they keep asking for a whole pic. I mean, are they only getting half? I need to get my modem checked. <laughs> In more ways than one. <laughs> modem sounds. It's like this is scripted. Do you have a script? Um, the game is <laughs> Oh! I gotta get one of those. This will go a lot smoother. Okay, holidays, isolated, visit, visit, labor organizer, V Day. What you have, apps to work. Oh, right! I'm so beautiful! How did I, for, how did I forget that? Oh my goodness. And it's expensive being beauty. Uh, beauty. I got my <laughs> hair done recently, and I will never go there again. No, it turns out my last hairstylist was prejudiced. Oh, 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 yeah. She was very proud of it. To embolden in big neon letters above her workstation, it said, colorist. Oh, I said, you're canceled. So I made a TikTok, got my hair permed, got a quick dip, and it sat in a little nail thing and got the heck out of there. She's canceled. <laughs> Sorry, I keep looking at my notes. Beauty, hair done. Oh, yes. It's so expensive being a drag queen and trying to take over the world. And so I'm actually considering going into a new field that's more lucrative. You see, I'm going to quit drag. Congratulations, audience. Yeah, I know you've been waiting for it. To become a ceramicist. Yeah, whoa, I didn't expect that. My friend is a potter, and she says she makes eight figures a year. You get it? Like, salary joke, but also like figurines. 
Okay, we're, all, we're actually going to do that joke later in the show. So when you hear it again, you need to act like it's the funniest thing ever. So let me hear you think that was the funniest thing ever. Eight figures a year. Oh, that's great. That will really matter later. That will really matter later. Thank you so much. Yes, and I'm really serious. You know, it's just not paying the bills. So I actually became a live-in nanny. I had a little angel that turned into a total demon. And luckily, we had a film crew following us. We caught it all on tape. Roll that beautiful bean footage. I never believed in the supernatural before this. I was in the presence of pure evil. It's an image I live with every day of my life. And I just hear this cackle. I never believed in the supernatural before this. I was just a humble babysitter and part-time drag queen. When I was just babysitting a baby, watching some old horror movies, you know, those Bob Hope specials, and I just hear this cackle. And I swear, like, I just feel it. It's an evil presence and it enters the room. And I knew something wasn't right, so I turned the TV off. But I still heard that cat. And it sounded like it was coming from the baby's room. And the baby was down for a nap. So she shouldn't be cackling in the middle of her sleep. So I knew something was wrong. So I ran up to the baby's room. And that's when I saw it. I knew I was in the presence of pure evil. It was the most frightening sight of my life. It's an image I live with every day of my life. The late, great Phyllis Diller comedy queen had possessed my niece and she immediately began to read me. <laughs> oh, I mean, come on, really? What do you call a gay with a midlife crisis? A blonde? Why, are you going to a barber or a groomer? I mean, really? You know, I used to be possessed by Liberace, but I couldn't keep up the payments, and now I'm repossessed. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, oh, come on, really? When I went to pick her up, it was like a large chunk of electricity had hit my chest and went straight through my arms and my whole entire being. I'm thinking I'm dead. I have become Phyllis <laughs> Dillerized. <laughs> oh my word, what a baby. <laughs> oh, come on. Luckily, my sister came in the room and started saying everything that Phyllis Diller hates. Gluten-free breadcrumbs, Fang's mother-in-law, housework, aging gracefully, young gorgeous people, cheap beauty parlors, Donnie and Marie Osmond. And that's when her spirit just left the room. We are safe now and moving forward, but we'll never forget that day that Phyllis Diller possessed my niece and myself. <laughs> It really grows on you. <laughs> oh, oh, I need to tell you I went to the beauty parlor and oh, is my stylist canceled? She's prejudiced. Oh, and she's so emboldened. Even in big neon letters above her workstation, it said, colorist. <laughs> she's canceled. Okay, so I knew that Joe King was going to be here today. And Joe King may or may not be the booker for the uh, match game in Pittsburgh, so let me use this moment to audition for Joe King tonight. Okay, wonderful. Okay, right, well, I can do Phyllis Diller. So it's like, and it's, I apologize, it might sound more like Jim Bailey than Phyllis, but let's see. Okay. Uh, oh, my word. I'm so old. I'm so old. It's nice to be anywhere where they don't have prune juice on tap. Oh, I'm so old. They discontinued my blood type. I'm so old. I stopped doing cocaine when they stopped putting it in the Coca-Cola. <laughs> thank you. Now, thank you. Thank you. Let me push my luck. I'll also do some Joan. Oh, my daughter, my daughter Melissa. Oh, oh, Liberace. Oh, oh, okay. 
I have actual jokes written too, so I have some. And then I can do a little Isabella Rossellini. I have given you immortal life, and now you must go into hiding forever. Cue lightning effect. Lancome. <laughs> and like, oh my gosh, like I can do like James Charles, like you and me, like sisters, like I mean like perfect. Like if you let me on the sex game, like I would like totally do it, like have a great time, like I'm like a apology video if you like, 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 like offend anybody, like it'd be like fine, like if not, like it'd be cool, but, like I don't even really know, like, like by my palette. <laughs> I need Bayla Stray, and I need you to bring that like um big wig, uh, the big uh, genie hat. And are we going to the next segment? Oh, uh, do we? I think I know what the segment is? Because um, I'm like a prophet. You want to guess? I'm going to guess that the next section is me predicting things. Thank you, Bayless Stray. Pull it. You got to do better than that. Oh. And pull it down in the front. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Thank you, Bay. <laughs> Oh, Bayla Stray! Wait, Hi, take this too. We'll talk afterwards. Because I do love you. Bye, Bay. Predictions! Okay, I'm predicting some popular couples' Halloween costumes. All right? Now I'm seeing is some big franchises coming back. I'm thinking we're going to see Catwoman Man and for her, Lady Catwoman Man. Come on out! Oh, Apothic said, everybody, give it up. And Agnes Senga. <laughs> wow, Agnes, how have you been? <laughs> she writes her own jokes, isn't that? <laughs> Apothic, it's good to see you. How have you been? Cat got your tongue. <laughs> You're so fun. Get out of here, we <laughs> am. Kitty, kitty noise. Kitty noise. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And another very popular franchise is going to be all over this Halloween. Yes. Princess Jafar and Lady Princess Jafar. We have Baby T and the real Wyatt. Oh, aren't they beauties? Oh, they look just like me. Except for they're younger and thinner and prettier. You can just leave. Actually, you can just go right this way. We only won Princess Jafar today. Thank you very much, though. Audacity. Okay, well, that was Halloween. You know what I'm predicting, too, is a trend? I'm thinking that TV and movies are going to be very popular this year. Have you seen any TV and movies? Uh, no. No? Not at all. Uh, okay, well, <laughs> I might recommend them. I'm thinking the talkies are going to catch on. <laughs> Maybe the movies as well. Not just those you know, single images, but the ones that make it look like it's moving. <laughs> well, <laughs> From the popular franchises, Mixed-ish. Oh, wait, should we say what we're doing? Oh, it's already up there? Okay, good. TV, TV great. Good job up there. Sam up in the booth is killing it. Give it up for Sam. <laughs> uh, it's honestly so nice to work with theater professionals. I found out I'm a theater maker, not a theater professional. Okay. <laughs> found that out real fast. Okay. <laughs> you have a womp, womp, womp. You have that. They still gave me the money, so it's okay. Who's the professional now? All right, wonderful. Well, TV shows, right? I'm seeing from the um, hit shows Mixedish and Blackish a new show called Amish. They won't, they won't be using any electricity or modern cameras, so it won't be streamed or shown on television. But I'm still rooting for that Emmy for them. Yeah. You, you know, it's okay. Emmy, you, you just know what Emmy is. It's okay. Okay. Now also from the makers of, I mean, the producers behind Everybody Loves Raymond and MASH comes Everybody Loves Raytheon. <laughs> oh, that's going to be fun. <laughs> and then finally, what I'm seeing, what I'm predicting is um, this like movie series. I think it already happened. Like that movie series where you can kill anyone you want with impunity, like nothing happens to you. Uh, is that The Purge? The Purge, right. From the makers of The Purge, they're rebooting Police Academy 8. <laughs> That's not really a joke. That just means if you're a cop, you can kill anyone you want. Cool. I think like 99.7% of cops who shoot people go unconvict, go unsentenced or whatever, but like we see like 100% of the ones who do. <laughs> so don't get, don't get confused. It's, they're still getting away with it. Don't get confused by a couple getting, you know, going to jail. Okay, anyways, that's, that, that's on the card. Let me stick to the cards. Bayless Stray, come on out! And I need my black wig. Ooh, 
หายเดย์หายเดย์ Oh sorry Okay this is hard because it's very small It's made for someone else's head I think This was not made by my colorist hairdresser. This was actually made by Aurora Borealis, who is such a talented hair designer. So thank you, Aurora. Does it look okay? Even over here, where my boy hair is showing? I mean, day hair. <laughs> Old terms. Excuse me. Cool. Cool. Uh, thank you. And then what about here? It gets all tangled. Cause sequins and hair. Not, doesn't work, but it looks nice sometimes. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay. Well, hi, Bay. Hi, Bay. We have Bay l e s t r a y all the way from Phoenix, Arizona. Bay is a producer and host of a few YouTube shows, a Twitch stream. Bay is a Twitcher. Uh, and your show is called Bay or Stray. Tell yes. Us, tell us about it. It's a Bay or Stray. It's a fashion photo review. It's a completely original concept and nothing like Tudor Boot. Nothing like Tudor Boot. We don't even know what Tudor Boot is. Right. But basically, a bay is a toot, whatever that is, and a stray is a boot. So we have some images up here. Would you bay or stray them with us? Yes. Would you help us as it. well? Yeah. We're gonna play bay or stray. Oh, I know what the answer to that one is. Are those shorts? They're jean shorts. Yes. I'm gonna I, have to say that's a stray. What? Let's ask the audience. I though. thought it was a. I thought it was like up. You know, I came in like Crocs and jean shorts. What do you think, bay or stray? Oh, they're biased. I win, Bay. Okay, good. Thank you, though. Renee, Renee, Renee Rosenstiel took that photo. Okay, next. Oh, <laughs> I love it. It's different. It's slightly different. Oh, that's a straight. The last one was a straight. The first two were Bays. Oh, oh. high quality man, which sauce? What do you think? I think it's a bay. You do? Yeah, I do. Oh, oh, yeah. Thank you. What about you? You think it's a bay or a stray? Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, next. Let's get. Let's see. Let's 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 let's, let's see this one. Oh, oh, that's a bay right there. That's literally bay. That's literally bay. What do you think, bay though? Bay. Yeah, bay. <laughs> You're being nice today. I appreciate y'all. Let's see the second look. Oh, another bay. <laughs> I mean, that's that's obviously a bay. There's no losers tonight, okay. And then lastly, speaking oh, of losers, I was feeling home alone. <laughs> Extra. Well, no, I think my beanie is too small. I could have gone like really zany big beanie, you know, because it is, you know. But yeah, like that, like that proportion. I do like the um, t-shirt with the hood on it, though. That's pretty cute. Is that your James Charles look? It's, it's pretty close. And then the little chest hair is good too. That's. What do you think, Stray? Though. I think a stray. It's okay. You think bay or stray? <laughs> oh, okay. You can all go home on this side. Thank you for coming tonight. <laughs> all right. And then lastly, I think we have just a bunch of. Okay, we're gonna do this fast. Let's top, let the audience do it. Yeah. Top left. Bay. Top. Top middle. Bay. Top right. Bay. Bo uh, middle left. Bay. bay. You guys <laughs> don't have any taste. Okay. Middle. What about that one? Bay. Stray. The, where are the lashes, girl? What about the third one? Middle right. I like that one a lot. I do. It's a jacket backwards. Bottom left. <laughs> that one's felted, and I said I felt. <laughs> Fifi O'Hare, AI, yeah, you ever seen Drag Race? Okay. And I then made bottom, that hair. That hair's nice. That came from b a y l e s t r a y herself. <laughs> I ordered it, so that's why it looks so nice. And then the, what about the bottom right? Straight, bay. Hey, it's art. You can't really judge it. Okay. Well, thank you, Bay, for coming in today. Yes. Everyone, follow Bay, and I guess everyone say bye, Bay. Bye, Bay. Bye, Get Bay. On my stage. Okay. <laughs> Give it up for Bay Lestray, all the way from Phoenix, Arizona. We did that whole card. <gasps> okay, this is great, but I think we should get serious and talk about some news. Do you have like news, any news, 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 news. She's got the nose. <laughs> Now these jokes were written about two weeks ago, so they're not very new. But <laughs> recently, you know that whole bus bridge accident happened. If you were on Twitter, you heard every good joke. I can't do better than them. All I can say is they always return to the scene of the crime. <laughs> Next slide. In recent news, pretty tragically, the RNC is not going to be hosted in Pittsburgh. I know. All of us Grinder users are so sad. <laughs> that discreet DL trade was going to be popping that week. 
I'm really sure that's Ed Ganey's first major misstep as mayor. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. In related news, I fucked my uncle. And in unrelated news, I fucked my step uncle. And guess what? My cousins are here you tonight. Know, uh, hey! Uh, Princess, yes. thank you for the audition. Thank audition. you. It's been great. We have yeah. your information. Right. We'll get to you. You can, you can leave the stage now. What? Can we, can we reset this? Uh, with live? Is Live from the City here? Live? Live from the City? Kid? Yeah. Let's do it. Don't applaud. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome for tonight's host of Live After Dark, live from the city! All right, hello, good evening everyone. I'm live from the city, and I'm live from the city, and this is live after dark. Thank you for being here. We have a wonderful, wonderful show planned for all of you tonight. And I want to take a moment before we go any further and give it up for my man, my mellow, the musical mastermind himself, Kid Meto. <laughs> Kid, Kid, how you doing today? I'm doing wonderful. How are you doing? I'm doing so well. How was your week? Oh, my week was wonderful. That's awesome. Did you make any new music this oh, week? Oh, always, always making music. That's what's up. We need to make some music together. Yes, we do. But that idea might be short-lived because I have a big announcement to make. This is a live After Dark exclusive. I know I'm known for my musical exploits as a hip-hop artist, but that's not as lucrative as I've hoped. So what I've decided to do is go into pottery. <laughs> Wait, hold on. You know, my friend who's a ceramicist, tell me, tells me she makes eight figures a year. <laughs> get it? Get it? Because, like, cause, you know, like that's pottery with the clay, and they make good figures, because that's, that's, what, that's what ceramicists do. That, <laughs> I know, right? It's, it's, it's crazy. It's, 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 it's nuts. So, um, but, you know, I don't want to just keep talking about myself. We got to talk about what's going on in the world. So how about we get to some news? So in related news, uh, live, uh, live. I don't think you should. What are you even doing over here? This is my, you see, the bed here is my spot. Is it? This, everyone, I booked this theater a year ago. Did you? Everyone here, house lights, is here to see me. All these people here. Everyone here. Y'all came here for Princess Jafar? Yeah. All right, let's hear it. Okay. If you came here for Live from the City, Make some noise. Yeah. <laughs> and if you came here for me, make some noise. Oh. It's like 50-50. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Cool. 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 But, but live, you see, I, I, I love this. I really, I'm rooting for this. But Thank you. Um, you know, I, I was kind of doing a monologue. You kind of interrupted that. You were on so, a monologue? Yeah, and we're kind of like running late on the show now. So oh. we're going to have to skip the next segment. And that was the one for charity. Oh, no. <laughs> Not the charity. I'm afraid so. Oh. It's like that handsy Christmas ghost was trying to tell me, sometimes you have to make sacrifices. And oh. I think they would prefer that we skip the charity segment so we can promote our sponsor, Simple Sweets PGH. Well, holy Jurassic Park, let's hold it right there. Okay. I did not mean to Susan B. Anthony your show. Get it? Yeah. So, uh, so what <laughs> we're going to do is I'm going to help you out. Okay. I'm going to play for charity, and oh. I'm going to help raise money. Would you all like that? Can we play for charity? I think that's a great idea! <laughs> awesome, awesome, All right, awesome. well, we're pretty close to Pittsburgh, so what right. if we do some Pittsburgh trivia? Pittsburgh trivia! Ba -ba -ba. Pittsburgh trivia. Kid, would you please take this away, actually, lead the game? Okay, uh, let's ask some questions. Uh, we've uh, polled, what, 100 Pittsburghers? It took a lot of Crisco, but we got them all polled. <laughs> I was going to say, y'all got a lot of time on your hands to poll 100 Pittsburghers. That's, that's, that's well, incredible. two hands, it's only 50. Here's the first. <laughs> <laughs> you ready for the first question? I think so. <laughs> okay, for $25, 100 Pittsburghers. $25 is the Princess of Show. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Twenty-five. So for twenty-five dollars. Twenty-five dollars. It's a little low. Let's <laughs> let's start light. There's a lot okay, of okay, line. Okay, okay. One hundred Pittsburghers were polled, and they chose one of these abbreviations of "I love you." According to these Pittsburghers, is it I L U or I L Y? You don't have to do this alone. You are not alone. Okay, so I can get a lifeline. You can phone a friend. All right. Make some noise if it's I L U. Whoa. Okay. Make some noise if it's I L Y. Hey. I'm going to go with ILU. I think you're right. Hey! Oh! $25! Yes. You are correct. $25. All right. <laughs> I'm good at this. Okay. Are you ready for the next one? I think so. How much, how much money are we doing on this next one? This next one is for $75. Okay, 75. so 25 plus 75, that would be around 100 Yes. 100? Okay. About, about $100. Okay. About okay. the same about amount of Pittsburghers that we polled. A dollar per poll. <laughs> Noted. 100 Pittsburghers were polled, <laughs> and the top answer was pottery or poetry. Why are there so many pottery jokes tonight? A lot of pottery what's, stuff going, going on right on? now. It's what Karina Coyman. I know it's Karina behind this. Pottery? Pottery? How about you? <laughs> well, you think it's pottery? Uh, pottery. Which, which one's more fragile? Which, which one one's more Reiki's? fragile, though? Pottery yeah. or poetry? <laughs> poetry? All right, it's a mixed bag there. Yeah. It's a mixed bag there. Well, yeah. my ceramicist friend makes oh. eight figures a year. Oh. So I'm going with pottery. 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 Oh. You are correct. Yes. Oh, my goodness. We did it. Oh, my goodness. $100. Okay. That'll go far. <laughs> sure. Okay. Um, I think we have two more questions. Okay. All right, okay. for $150, Ooh. which of these does the Allegheny County Jail consider recreation time? Okay. A, reading books. No, they canceled physical books back in 2020. Yeah, well, they don't have books there. Not that. <laughs> B, being shackled to a desk for four hours a day. That sounds fun. Maybe that could be a prize later. We or C, <laughs> beach volleyball. Oh, yeah, that's the one where you play volleyball on the beach. Right. Beach volleyball. Right, right, right. So I could, I could definitely see that happening at, at that. Allegheny that's County. Fun. You see a ball in a net. Yeah, you know. Um, mm. Mm. I think about reality and how you know, sad everything is. Yeah. Yeah. So reality and check. I'm going to go with answer B. I think it's B. Oh, B. Hey, you that are correct. not funny at all. Okay, no, that's well. actually terrible. <laughs> that's <But> terrible. <laughs> okay, next all question. All right. We have one final question. Okay, kid, before we go any further, what amount are we at now? Um, I believe it's $250. $250 for the charity! Yeah. Oh, and you know what? Okay. We skipped ahead a little bit. I never even said what the charity was. What we're playing, we're playing for Let's Get Free. Let's Women's Get Justice Free. Charity tonight, so. Yay! Let's Get Free gets this money. Yeah. Let's get this money for Let's Get Let's Free, get people. Free. Yes. All right. The final question. Okay. For two hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Would you care to opine on refined mimer Kevin Klein's climb over the international <laughs> dateline on the Pittsburgh incline and Calvin Klein's? Wait, can you say it again but faster? Yeah. <laughs> Would you care to opine on a refined mimer Kevin Klein's climb over the international dateline on the Pittsburgh incline and Calvin Klein's? What? I'm going to decline. <laughs> that is correct. Yeah! That is the correct answer for a total of $150 now for wait. Let's Get Free. Wait, 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 wait. $500 is great. But tonight, I didn't tell anyone about this. I apologize. But I am going to double it. We're going to play for $1,000 for Let's Get Free. All right. And we don't have a slide for it because they didn't know about this, but the trivia question is, how do you pronounce the theater that we're in? <laughs> is it Hazlitt or is it Hazlitt? Hazlitt. Hazlitt. Um, Cameron, Purple Haze. We're going with Hazlitt. Purple Haze! It's the new Hazlitt Theater! Hey. Let's give it out to the New Hazel Theater. Let's hear a little bit about our charity, and then what, will take us to a commercial? Yeah, sure. That sounds cool for you. Let's Get Free. The Woman and Trans Prisoner Defense Community is a group working to end death by incarceration, also known as life without parole sentencing. 
building a pathway of the prisons back to our communities through commutation reform support successful possibilities for people formerly and currently incarcerated and shift to a culture of transformative justice we have a toll-free number that's one three four princess to get more information on how to donate to this and similarly minded causes for repeat viewers at home again that number is one three four P-R-I-N-C-E-S-S. -S. Thank right, you, awesome. kid. You're welcome. That was great. Take us out. Live, let me talk to you. What was, what was that live PGH, Sinful Sweets PGH. Yo, if you wanna get some fresh baked goods, best to get to Sweet Sinful Sweet PGH. That's good, cause we they got edible dough and then candy fudge. They got cookies and you know that sweet treat. You guys to get them brownies, they be so nice and clean. It's locally made, decorated daily. Yeah, that Pittsburgh sweets, sweets, sinful sweets, PGH. That's the way we be like. When was the last time you got some sloppy? Yeah, I bet it's been a minute. Shit, stupid ass nigga. Well, let's check in with Chef Guckman and see what's going on down at the slop shop. Come on down to the slop shop and ask about our slop top special. Oh, and don't forget to ask about our double gut supreme. And for you vegans, we got you on the sloppy toe. You heard Guckman. We got the combo for $7.99 and a little gut meal for $4.99. And don't forget to get Gam Gam some souvenirs. We got mugs for $10. $10? Yep. Yeah. $10. And shirts for only $15. $15? Yeah, I know that's a motherfucking bargain. So get on down to Slop Shop for all your sloppy needs. Slop shop cannot guarantee you satisfaction with our product. And if this shit gives you the bubble guts, please don't call us, because we don't give a fuck. Bomb ass bitches not included. North Shore Theater, and I feel so bad for everyone who's at home watching this, missing out on this beautiful space, but they won't be missing out because they can still win prizes at home. Yes, all you have to do is send any dollar amount to at Princess Jafar or dollar sign Princess Jafar on Cash Up and Venmo with the note, Game Show Charity. All proceeds go to True T Pittsburgh, uh, like a they're queer centric, dance centric group. They do a lot of cool work in the city. And once you give me that money, <laughs> uh, you'll be entered to win tonight. So before we find out what you're going to win, right? We're gonna How long is this going to last? The oh, right, right. Thank you. Uh, this charity cannot last for, or this competition can't last forever. It will end June 2022. So you have a few months to watch us at home and enter. But after June 22, the contest is closed. 
So you have a few months to be entered to win. Send any dollar amount to Princess Jafar, Princess Jafar, Cash App, or Venmo. Okay, great. Uh, now, that's the at-home rules. Are, are we missing something? Like, um, we did the charity, we did the guest, we did the games, we have the theme songs and the jingles. I think we're going to do a game today. So we game. I think you should bring out Agnes. Oh, let's bring out Agnes Senga! <gasps> Ooh, quick change. Hey. Ooh, you look gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Are you trying to win Miss, Miss like, Drag Race Canada? Look at this Queen of the North. It's like the maple. I love it. Yes. Queen of the universe. Beautiful. Mm. Yeah, turn it around. <laughs> Agnes Singer, everyone. Agnes is all over the city. It's so nice to see you. You probably have like five events this weekend. Don't say anything specific because this is for, you know, the future. But, like, in general, you're, like, a host, producer, performer, stand-up comedian, stand comedian sit-down comedian, drag mom, drag auntie, all of it. Now, Agnes is great with people, and Agnes is um, COVID vaccinated and negative. <laughs> so yeah. she gets to go close to you, unlike yes. me. Stay far away from me. Okay, so would you kind of sit, like stand near the audience a little bit and help them if they need to talk to me at all? Because they might. Because I'm feeling like we're just missing like a big element of game shows. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I think we need some audience participation. Yes, let's get an audience member here to play some pricing games. Okay, who wants to play the first, second, third pricing game on Princess Jafar as the Princess is Right, presented by the New Hazel Theater and the Highest Foundation? <laughs> oh, put your hands up if you want to play. Uh, if I pick you, they'll think it's rigged. Okay. <laughs> I've never seen you before. You can play. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. Sorry, Olivia. They would all think it was rigged. I can't. You can, you can, we'll play later. I, I stay away from you, right? Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so we have our guest. And we have Agnes just standing there what waiting. What game are we going what to play? What game are we playing? Well, let's play a quick grab for cash and prizes. It's sort of like Punch a Bunch, if you're familiar. It's called Fisticuff. It's the Fisticuff. Fisticuff. Lydia Collins, everyone. Oh. Oh, what a glorious, glorious human being. Thank you, Lydia. And this little thing is the fisticuffs. We have 10 lovely little holes that can all get fisted by our beautiful fister. Now, the new Hazlet is very particular about fisting on the stage. They went through the rules. They said, you have to have gloves. You have to have lubricant. The, the, they're fisting pros here. They know how to do it. We follow all the rules and protocol. We have the gloves. We have the fisting professional. OK, we have Lydia. We have the Crisco. We have you, but there's all these holes, but how do we figure out how many you can hit, right? We're going to have some models coming out with some prizes donated by Arts and Crafts PGH in one second. What are we going to win? What are we going to win? We have to do that, too. Jeez, uh. there's so many things to go over. This is just... Okay. Um, all right. Well, kid, what are we going to win? <laughs> um, for our in-studio guests That's you. and for our at-home winner, at two home. annual passes to Kennywood, two. Sandcastle, Sandcastle 2022. Okay, so that's Kennywood and Sandcastle for 2022, but it's also all of their sister parks. So anything else they own in their little family you can go to as well. So basically, we're going to send this person to West Mifflin. Yes. <laughs> This Dude, is the this first episode of the Princess Jafar show. I've been promoting it for three years. Mm -hmm. And the first time I promised a trip to Disney World. So, hmm. um, is there any way we can make it a little better, sweeten the pot? Uh, let anyway. Me, let me check. Anything my, better than West Mifflin? Please. Um, Please. Please. Oh, okay, how about we sweeten the pot for Thank our in-studio guest only? Okay. Sorry, contestants at home. Okay, and this is at home, not for you, but you right here. We'll talk to you yes. in a second, too. We'll find out how you are. We're going to send <laughs> the no audience gosh. member and guest yes. to Dutch Wonderland. Dutch Wonderland! 
where you will stay at the Animated Cartoon Network Hotel, the only one of its kind in North America. Yes. You will fly from boring, dumb, lousy Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania to the world-leading, tropical, oh. amazing, awesome, exciting destination on the forefront major metropolis, bustling, booming center of industry and fashion, Lancaster, PA. Lancaster, Pennsylvania! Now where, that's more like it. Where you can eat, play, and yeah. get tuned around if the princess is right. That's right. Do you think I should make that's more like it a catchphrase? Now that's more like it. That's, uh, I'll, try, I'll try. The princess is right. Now that's more like it. Right. Okay, missing quick so grab. The queen's house. To the win, stage. Lydia. I want to talk to you first, actually. Good. Good. Yeah, you. Aggie, let's ask some questions. Go ahead, Aggie. You got it. You got the mic. You ask the question. <laughs> like, what's your name? Where are you from? All that stuff. Yeah. I got. I got to get a drink or something. I'm from Liverpool. What? Oh, yeah. Yes, I'm I from Liverpool. <laughs> I, I flew here to be in Pittsburgh tonight. <laughs> Good day. Good day. I don't know. Can we? Do you want to win a pass to a country you don't live in? Do you live Absolutely. in the US? I love Lancaster. We um we have a, a like little Lancaster in Liverpool. It's, it's very popular work. there. Can't wait. That is not gonna work. <laughs> Lancaster! <laughs> what? Wait, are you joking? Because if you're joking, we can continue with this accent, but if I not, might be from Pittsburgh. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> okay, good, okay, great. You can keep talking that way all you like. <laughs> we we accept all lifestyles here. Um <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, thank goodness. So you can actually use this. Okay, oh, good. indeed. Okay, good. <laughs> like us the forever. Like us the forever. Okay, good. Okay, great. Is that like a, I hope I didn't just say something like, I don't know what I just endorsed. Okay. Uh, yeah, so, ten holes. What do you win? What do you win? Mifflin. Can't, okay, okay. All right, we got our friend here. And uh, we love this person. Blokes. Blokes. In, uh, blokes. Oh, wait, Agnes, you're holding the microphone, so Agnes, phone. you have the mic, so keep it to, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> keep it over here, okay, great. All right, now we're going to find out how many holes Lydia's going to fist on the new Hazlet stage uh, by bringing out some of our lovely helpers. So, we have our first lovely lady, Bela Stray, Ooh! <laughs> with this lovely, but, I mean, um, La Muerte candle. If you do use a butt plug, make sure you blow it out first. Okay? Sorry that happened, but you know we it's you should be fine now. Okay, great. So we have the first thing, it's a candle. These are all presented by Arts and Crafts PGH. A cute little witch shop right on Penn 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 Yeah, okay. All right. And then the second person we're gonna bring out, let me see your beautiful hands. Oh, we have a popping set with a glorious uh, new modern witch tarot deck. Yeah, I said witch. Okay, great. Beautiful. Nice to see you. Thank you for being here today. Thank you, Bay. Now we're going to keep going with, uh, let's see. Do we have like a room deodorizer spray over there? With Baby T. Come on out, Baby T. <laughs> this is not just a room deodorizer spray. It's also a jackpot spray. So, you know, if you lose here, you can win at home. It, it, it's, it's pretty great. Baby T, we worked together before. It's nice to work with you in person, though. We did a music video together. You might have seen, none of you watched it. Uh, but we did a music video together uh, for Man Witch, and we got to work with Nicole Page Brooks. Oh, my goodness. All the way from Atlanta, Georgia. How did I ever afford that booking? That was wild. Okay. One, two, three. We need one more person. We need a little book. Do we have Sir? They call her Sir. Welcome, sir, to the stage. This is a comp compendium, is that the word, for this tarot deck, and we have, it's a, 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 what's it called again? Brujas, the magic and power of witches of color. Okay, so, I'm going to give two of these prizes to somebody else, sorry to say, but okay, but, because um, two of them don't make too much sense, but okay, uh, so four things right here. Now, what you're going to do, they all have different prices. You have to put them in order from lowest to highest. We're going to say the lowest is this end, and the highest will be over here, okay? Now, if you think this is the correct order, you can say, ladies, how... No, I'm not, we're not doing that, okay. Um, just say it's good. If not, we can switch them. So, Agnes, let's ask Tonley. What was your name? Tilly? 
Tom Lee's fine. Tolly. 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 Tishma. What do you want to switch? Yeah, what do you think? Help him. Help uh, Tolly out. I, I feel like a, a, a spritzy bottle yeah. would be like maybe on that side, but okay. what's inside the spritz? Um, it's, it smells like Axe. Axe? Yeah. That side? Yeah. Okay, and uh, books are very valuable, so they are. You know, one, one over just. Okay, right in the switch again. There. Okay, that looks better. And then the candle, you like that where that is? How do you put a price on a candle like that? They did. I have it right uh, here. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, I okay. appreciate that. Tarot, one. okay. Candles, one over. And then tarot, one over. <laughs> okay. I'm, 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 okay. Spray. <laughs> okay, the, the book needs to switch with the candle. Really quick. Switch the candle with the book. Yeah, good job. <laughs> okay. I'm staying. I, okay, good, 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 good. Okay, let me just check one more time. Okay, great. All right. Now, uh, okay. the spray. We'll start here. The spray is 10.99. Good job. If the rest are higher than that, you'll be a winner today. Let's go to the end. The candle is priced at. They did price it at 29 dollars. Okay. 29, but. The book is $24.95. So if, right, if the tarot deck is between $24.95 and $29, we have a winner today. So the price of the tarot deck, oh my the Modern Witch Tarot Deck by Lisa Sturl, presented by Arts and Crafts PGH, is $26. You have four chances to win fisticuffs, but you're not winning these two things, so it's not appropriate for you to go home with these. But you can take these two home with you right here. And I think you should have these, actually. <laughs> and would you, would you give those to this lady, actually? Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. You may leave the stage. I appreciate you. You're lovely. You're so handsome to me. Yay! Thank you, lovelies. Yes. Tonight we have Bayless Stray, Baby T. We had Moon Baby. We have Baby Teeth in the audience. We have, who else? Baby... Ba is there any other babies we're missing or forgetting? I don't want to forget any babies. Okay. Now, <laughs> you're not done. You're not done. So now, that was how many chances you have. You have four right to fist these holes. So, Lydia, are you ready? Are you lubed up? I'm so ready. Okay, great. Yeah, get that in there. Would you mind walking to the front of the table? Lovely, 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 lovely. Okay. Now... Okay, okay, we're cool. All right, okay, all right. <laughs> okay, this is, this is the last one of these right here. Okay, you got it, you got it. The ones you fisted first yesterday, the last ones today, okay? You got it. Okay, when, you want to pick a, pick, a, pick a hole? Not the top one. Okay, good choice. How about below the top on the, on, yeah, right there. Go ahead. That's it. I want... Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, it's tough. You got it, though. You, oh! And also, this is presented by Gia Fagnelli. So thank you to Gia. Is it coming out? It's stuck? Yeah. Like, like, what? Like this? Like, it's too tight? <laughs> I mean, God, it's so, it's so wet. There we go. Twenty-five dollars. <laughs> ho ho ho. Okay. You want to pick another hole? Um, not the one next to it. I'm going to the third row. Her right here. Right here. The okay. center one. Try, try it. Middle one. Now middle. 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 middle? Yes. Wait, 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 wait. I mean, middle. No, not that one yet. Oh no. Put it in the middle, try this please. one or this one. How about that? It's in your favor, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it working? Oh, okay, there's something in there. Isn't something in there? I don't remember eating that. Let's see. The Crisco's really getting uh, stuck. The Crisco's getting stuck? Oh, oh, what you got? What you got? What you got? $25! That's $50! Now, you, could, you only have two left, and there is bankrupts in here, and if you get bankrupt in here, you get bankrupt in real life, and we have... Legal professionals outside, you'll have to file when you leave. I know so it's a big that. risk. Wait, wait, I think we should go. What do you think? Should we go on? Yeah. yeah. You don't get to the answer. Okay, great. 
I ones. Think do maybe like I think I think these ones are safe. Okay. But just ju this one's definitely safe. Just do that one. Yeah. I don't care what I didn't ask. I didn't ask them. Don't talk. Oh my god. What is it? What did you win? What is it? So what are we at now? $200. $200? You're at $100. Wow. Okay, $100. You can get two pizzas from Pizza Parma and 30 wings for $100. I'm not even kidding. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, now, do you want to risk it all and the chance of a bankruptcy in your real life for a trip to Lancaster, Pennsylvania? I'll do anything for Lancaster! Oh, we're going for the trip! Now, this, this, this is the trip row right here, if you want to just do one of those. Okay. Thank you. Can you, can you! can you cut my mic when I'm whispering to Lydia? Yeah, thanks. Okay. Okay, great. What do we got? We got. Oh. It's a trip to Lancaster, Pennsylvania! Oh, my word! Wow. So please stick around. We want your information at the show so we can actually get all that to you. Thank oh, you so much. Thank I, you. Thank you. Thank you. As we say in Liverpool, cheerio. Okay, Aggie, take the mic away. All right, thank you so much. You're doing great. You, you have another line, right? Right, kid? Do we need to say like, uh, oh, I guess I say. Okay, like we're, so we're flying you to, we're gonna fly you to Dutch Wonderland. We're gonna put you in that hotel, Cardinal River Hotel. We're gonna give you two season passes to uh, Sandcastle and uh, what's it called, Kennywood, which includes all the sister parks. So have a great summer. And if you're watching at home and you won, you just won two season passes to Kennywood and Sandcastle, so that's really great too. Wow, congratulations yeah. to you. <laughs> all right. We're going to uh, go to a quick commercial break, a quick word from our sponsor, right? That's okay, it. take it away. Thank you so much, Agnes. The Thank princess you. is right. right. Princess Blessings and the Records present Princess Jafar's Cool Tunes. The sounds were hot, but the tunes were cool. Call three four princess now. With Princess Jafar's cool tunes, you get 101 original hits on 102 Princess Jafar approved, technologically advanced, state of the art discs for the low, low price of 103 easy payments of one dollar. That's 101 hits on 102 discs for 103 easy payments of one dollar. How do I order it? Here's how to order. Call now. Just send $103 to Princess Jafar on Venmo. Or send CODs and money orders to Royal Records, Carol, Palace Pressings, One Palace Plaza, Agrabah, Irvin, Jordan. Send money now. interrupt our regular programming for a special report on the Persian Gulf crisis. From Fox News, this is a Mideast update. Sirens flare in Saudi Arabia tonight as three Iraqi missiles head for the Saudi capital of Riyadh. Two scuds hit just outside the capital, capital, unpopulated areas. A third scud is blown out of the sky by a U.S. Patriot rocket. No injuries reported in this latest attack. It's the second time in less than 10 hours that the Saudi capital has been under missile fire. <laughs> A U.S. Navy pilot is safe tonight after a daring desert rescue operation took him 
off the missing in action list. And it's reported that Saddam Hussein took to his bunker to meet with a former Algerian leader. Algeria is just one country trying to peacefully end the war. Four seven seven four six two three seven seven. Princesses are standing by. Call now. They don't message rates may apply. The princess. Whoa! Wow, that Mid East update. I hope they fix things over there soon. <laughs> oh, the Persian Gulf crisis. Raise your hand if you remember if you remember it being called that. Raise your hand. Raise your hand if you remember Iraqi, what was it? Operation Iraqi Freedom. Yeah, that was, that's us. That's our time. Okay, Q. What was that one? Was Thunderstorm. Thunder and Desert Storm. Desert Storm. <laughs> so many good names for the same thing. It's great. I love the rebranding. <laughs> okay, so now, actually, we have a special guest, um, the comedy stylings of Sweet Baby Day Day. That's a video. Bop, yo, Sweet Baby. Oh, shit, what's up, man? Shit, how you doing, bro? Hey, I can't call it. I love the videos, bro. I really, I, like, keep it up, bro. Keep it up. Shit, man. Man, thank you, man. Yo, keep that ass fat. Oh, you too, bro. You too. Where the fuck's my other shoe? Those are mine, those are mine, bro. Yo, yo! Amazing topics. Thankfully, it's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. Bitching, you're still late. You see? He was about to scroll past. Let me get you right first. Sit down, sit down. Who the fuck cut your shit? You wear her head though. Gotcha. You said who got your shit? <laughs> uh, thanks. Can't believe he was about to scroll past looking like that. Hold on, let me see. Turn to the left. My balls were, but we get the lines crispy. Oh, so I'm about to get the one part because that shit look crazy right there. Yeah, I mean, I keep my followers nice. Come here, come here, turn to, turn to the right. Ah! Shit look nice, man. Oh, hey. Good evening. Just having some tea. Oh, I made you some. Go ahead, have some. It's good. You like it? I'm glad you can enjoy this with me. You have a lighter? You do. Cheers. Neighbors. Here, hit this. That gas. Why not? You enjoying your tea? No matter if I do. Will you have a good evening? The princess is right. Give it up for Sweet Baby Day Day one more time. <laughs> Such a sweetie pie, for real. Uh, this show itself has been over three years in the making. It was originally planned at Club Cafe. So I want to thank everyone over there, including Margot Smith, for helping to plan that. A lot of that planning is still in this show. Um, and, of course, I want to thank Dylan Baker, uh, Sam up there. We have Janice Young, Renee Conrad, and Kristen Helfrich, 
who did so much work on this show. I really appreciate you all. Um, but really, these shows take forever to plan, and kind of like this little speech just goes on and on, so I just want to cut all the pomp and circumstance, all the unneeded, you know, just get to the essence of it, just, you know, what purely is going on, just, you know, essentially, just simply, just, oh, wait, wait, wait. I just jumped the gun. Okay, now, <laughs> I have to do the whole thing over again. Uh, I have had this next segment in my head my whole life. I've always wanted to give away a washer and dryer set <laughs> on, t on TV, you know what I mean? on a game show. Um, so that's happening. But I've also had this friend in the city for probably nine years now, I think since 2013 when I first moved here. And um, when I first saw this next number you're going to see, I said, you need to do that in one of my shows. I'm going to give away a washer and dryer set, and you're going to do this number. Now, once again, cutting all the comments, circles, and all that, blah, 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 essentially, simply, purely, just jingles. Do rise for just take your time. Feel my baby 20 minutes, and she'll make you lose your mind. My baby's got the best machine, the best washing machine in the town. My baby's got the best machine, the best washing machine in town. She's got the very best equipment, there's no better machine to be found. Press, bring your dirty clothes, bring all your dirty guns, don't worry about no soap, her machine is full of sun. My baby's got the best machine. Best washing machine in town. Oh, oh! Just relax and take it easy while the machine goes round and round. Oh, oh, oh! Customers always right, just don't overload her machine. There's washing machine ah. in town. If you want to see smooth action, it will cost you 30 cents a pound. Oh, oh, what a machine. So treat my baby gentle, Whoa. treat my baby kind. Cause Whoa. I'm kind of service nowadays, it's hard to find. She's got the best machine. Oh. Best washing machine in town. She can do it over and over, and her machine won't break oh! down. What a machine! Give it up for Jingles! Don't go anywhere, Jingles. Don't go anywhere. I'm, let me be your kitty girl. Hey, kitty girl. In your world. Oh, this is Jordan's also. Do, 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 do. Actually, let's give this to you right now. It's great. Yeah, that's Jordan's. Jordan's mom, everyone. Hey. Live from the cities. Live from the cities, mother. Okay, so we have Jingles here. Jingles, you gonna help me pick a winner tonight? Sure. Would you describe this lovely washing machine? Um, yes, the LG. The LG. <laughs> 2.4 cubic feet. 24 inch all in one compact front load washer front load. and dryer combo and dryer. in white 1.6 cubic feet top load portable washer in white a one uh one <laughs> seventeen hundred dollar value yeah. this compact all-in-one combo delivers advanced lg washing and drying performance in the space of a single appliance take out the guesswork with built-in intelligence in the wash wow. cycle and sensor dry wow. that automatically adjusts settings for advanced wow. fabric care reduce allergens such as wow. dust pollen and pet dander and everything from yep. bedding to baby clothes with the steam powered allergen cycle 
And the winner? And the winner <laughs> of <laughs> the LD 2.4 cubic feet, 24 inch, all in one compact front load washer and dryer combo in white, 1.6 cubic feet, top load portable washer in white is. I think it's you! You won the washer and dryer set! Yes! You're the winner! Stand up! You won! Oh my goodness gracious! Congratulations! Can we have both of our winners come down? Come down. Just join us. Can we come have all down. of our models come out? Can we get live from the city? Can we get Kim Mensel? Can we get Just Jingles? I want to thank a lot of people, so I'm doing it really fast. I want to thank GFX, Nelly, Kid, Mensel, Tucker, Soulful, Madeline, Steinbeck, Snoopy Soup, Janice Young, Brittany Chantel, Live from the City, Just Jingles, Lydia Collins, Bayless Stray, Supa Naheen was a part of this planning, Maxi Pad, Nate Puppets, Apothic Said, Agnes Singa, they call her Sarah Baby T, Andy Horhall, special thanks to New Hazel Theater, The Heinz Endowments, GFX, Nelly, Arts and Crafts, PGH, Server, S Simple Sweets, PGH, High Five Productions, Sarah Coffee Designs, Boom Concepts, Sweet Baby Day Day, and all of our wonderful guests. Thank you all for making this happen. I really appreciate you. I've missed you, Habibis. Hey, jo hey, like, where are all our beautiful models? I don't know, but I have t-shirts. You got t-shirts. Yes. You get a shirt. Oh. And you get a shirt. And you get a shirt. And you get a shirt. And the princess is right. Where are our models? Oh, crap. Okay, Get wait. on the stage. Ah. <laughs> Thank you, Bayless Stray. Thank you, Baby ah. T. Thank you, they call her Sir. Thank you, Lydia Collins. Thank you, Andy Horhall. Gorgeous. Now, please stick around so we can get your information. Thank you all. I don't know what happens next. Oh, we do a Q&A. So stick around. We have some questions for you. You're on the spot. OK. That's it, right? We did it. Yes, it Great, is. great job. Great job, everyone. Princess is right. Princess is right. Thank you. Princess is right. Thank you. Okay, let's go back. The princess is right. The princess is right. Give it up one more time for Princess Jafar! Thank you. Thank you.